Hi guys, Chris asked me to do this guest review of the new Sideshow Star Wars Yoda Legendary Scale Statue. Uh, I'm happy to do it. I appreciate the opportunity. Let's get at it. So here's the shipper box. It's just your standard Sideshow brown shipper. There's no uh, addition size on the box or on the base of the statue, so it, uh, there's no edition size being revealed. It does say edition number, limited edition, but no actual number. One thing that's interesting is this piece came without an art box. It's just the brown shipper and the styrofoam inside. Uh, there is no art box. I assume that's the same for everyone, but I did not receive an art box. Uh, in place of the art box, let me just put this down, they give you this card poster of the prototype of the statue. It's just a pretty thin card stock. But I think it's interesting because it may be a preview of things to come for Sideshow that they're going to start eliminating uh, art boxes as a cost-cutting measure or as a shortcut. Uh, maybe a preview of how they're going to handle things from now on. So here's the statue. I think he looks really good. The sculpt is fantastic. The sculpt is done by Matt Black, who has sculpted many of the other uh, great Star Wars pieces for Sideshow. The whole team on this is a, a all-star team of sculptors, painters, and developers. The paint is fantastic. The colors are all film accurate. The eyes in particular are very well painted. It's a mixed media statue, polystone and fabric. I'm a big uh, polystone guy. I like fully sculpted pieces, but I think this works. It's good. The cape is wired, so you can pose it and it's easy to pose. The hair is rooted, which I like. I like that, that look, although one of the nitpicks I have of this statue is that the hair is not very full on the actual statue. On the pictures of the prototype, there was more hair. The hair was uh, uh, more full. This, the hair looks thinner, but I still like it. I think it's film accurate. I'm not a big fan of the prequels or the sequels to the original Star Wars trilogy, but I'm a huge original trilogy fan. You can see that he's on top of a battle droid in this statue from the Clone Wars. Uh, but who didn't love those scenes in those movies where Yoda comes to life and uh, has uh, battles with his lightsaber? Uh, some of the great scenes in, in the movies. And that's why I got this primarily. I needed a, a classic looking Yoda for my collection. And uh, this one fit the bill. And I also like the fact that he's in an action pose that he is, uh, that he's moving and it's got a lot of movement to it. Like I say, he's half scale. The measurements are just about what they say on uh, the website, 20 inches tall, 13.6 uh, inches wide and 11.2 inches deep. It'll fit easily on any, on any shelf. Once again, the sculpt and the paint are just great. The details are, are, are really well done, particularly his face, and the pose is uh, just top notch. So here I'll show you the light up feature. Now, it, it, once again, it, it comes with, instead of the standard AC cord with the longer, uh, longer cord, which was usually about six feet or more long, this one just comes with a micro USB into an adapter which is another, I think, shortcut by Sideshow. I like the longer AC cords. It gave you a little bit more flexibility. I think this is a, another shortcut that they're taking. And the cable is only about three feet long and doesn't give you a lot of, uh, a lot of room. You almost have to have a, a extension cord. But here, I'll plug it in and we'll show you what it looks like with the light-up feature. I, I think the light-up feature is nice. I like the light-up lightsabers. Um, I think they do, it looks nice. Okay, so it's got a, a switch in the back as well, so switch it on. There you go. 
That's what he looks like with the light up feature on. I'll also show you what he looks like uh, with the rest of my collection of Star Wars statues later in the video. But uh, that shows you what he looks like with the light up feature on. I think it's an excellent statue. Uh, I'm happy I got it. I would buy it again. Uh, it just came out from Sideshow on Friday. I received mine uh, yesterday. I believe it is now waitlisted on Sideshow. I think that might be a, uh, one of Sideshow's marketing gimmicks now that they say it's uh, waitlisted so people will jump on the waitlist and then they'll ship it in batches. Like I say, I don't know what the addition size is. But overall, I give this an 8 out of 10. I think it's an excellent statue. It's a great classic Yoda look with an action pose. And if you need a Yoda for your collection, I think it's worth considering. I like him better than the Mythos uh, Yoda, although the Mythos is quarter scale and would fit in better with the other quarter scale Star Wars statues that you might have. Uh, I didn't like the, the, the look of that one. It's not the classic Yoda, like wise old Yoda look uh, in an action pose. So I opted for this one and I'm, I'm happy that I did. I highly recommend it. So here he is in my display. I have him with the light up feature on. He's on the top shelf of a three shelf Hoyland garage shelving unit from Costco. And here you can kind of see what he looks like in relation to the other Star Wars pieces that I have. I have seven other quarter scale Star Wars pieces from Sideshow. As you can see, I have some of the OG pieces along with the newer pieces and the Mythos. You back up a bit and you can see how it fits in with the whole Star Wars group. As you can see, he's half scale. So he doesn't match up exactly right with all the quarter scales. He looks a little larger. But I can handle that. I think it looks good enough that it tops off the collection pretty well and he fits in nicely. So that's my review for the Sideshow Yoda legendary scale statue. I really like it. Like I say, I'm happy I bought it. I think it fits in well with my collection. I think it adds to it. And it kind of caps it off. I think I have pretty much all the statues from Star Wars that I'll collect for now for a while. And uh, I needed a Yoda in my collection, and I'm happy to have him. I want to thank Chris Michael for asking me to do this guest review, and I wish all of you happy collecting. Bye-bye.